The strength of the force of gravity you feel from a star, a planet, or a black hole decreases as you move farther away from the object of your attraction. But the you in that sentence is an extended creature, with your head and toes separated by almost two meters of atoms held together by electromagnetic forces. When you stand above a gravitational source, your feet experience a stronger force than your head. And with your atoms held together by a spring-like force, this difference in force actually stretches you, a process called spaghettification. Let's use our gravitational force code, available in the description below, to see spaghettification in action. Here we create a string of equally spaced atoms representing a human body. Here we connect these atoms by springs, just like the forces between the atoms in a human body. Here we create a black hole that will pull our atoms with the gravitational force. Each atom feels two types of forces, a spring force from each of its neighbors, and the gravitational force from the black hole. Here we simulate the motion of our atoms using the Euler-Cromer method. Again, each atom feels the gravitational force from the black hole and a spring force from each of its neighbors. For fun, we'll also graph the length of this human body as it falls into the black hole. The resulting animation shows the body falling into the black hole. With each atom experiencing a different strength of the gravitational force, they accelerate at different rates, causing the body to stretch. Our graph of the body's length shows that the length doubles before the lowest atom falls into the black hole. That is some serious spaghettification.